Good morning. I hope you're all um, feeling well this week. It's been a challenging one for me, that's for sure. So this week I got caught in a perpetual cycle of judgment. It was a combination of the judgment of myself, perceived judgment of myself, and a perceived judgment by other people. The challenge that I've always had is that I'm a feeler. Um, I feel everything and I feel everything really intensely. This week was a week that I really needed to consciously be mindful and to take time to appreciate the simple things. And just with the chaos that the week was, I had the excuse, well, I made the excuse that I didn't have time. So that being said, I'm going to share an excerpt out of my book, Peacock Dreaming, The Wisdom of Flowers. It's a section called Judgment. And this is as much for me because I need to take it in as it is for everyone else. There is beauty and worth in every being. Many people see the beauty in what others deem unsightly. Do not be disheartened by another's judgment of you. Everyone has an opinion and that's okay. Opinions are vehicles through which we articulate life experience. They are a vital and necessary part of all of us. Yet another's opinion has nothing to do with you, even when that expression is aimed right at you. Remember, opinions are merely a reflection of another's individual journey. We don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. It's a fruitless exercise to stay small in a bid to avoid the judgment of others. Nothing is gained. And in many respects, something is lost. Because the world misses out on who you really are. You have so much to contribute to the world. Stand bold and don't limit yourself for the fear of judgment of others. <laughs> 